Paul, you've been speaking to Mark. What did he say to you? Yeah, that's right, Colette. Well, Mark Sheehan was out with a group of friends on Saturday night celebrating a birthday, a housewarming, and the fact that he himself had passed his driving test on Friday. And they were getting the number 15 bus home uh, late on Saturday night into the early hours of Sunday morning when this incident happened. Uh, Mark said he and his friends were on the bus and that a large group of young lads he believes were teenagers started antagonising them, using homophobic slurs and shouting abuse. And Mark was kicked and headbutted in the face, suffering, as you say, serious facial injuries. Now Mark has sent us some photos uh, in the aftermath of those injuries and just a warning that some viewers may find those uh, distressing but I suppose it is important Mark feels that uh, people are aware of the impact that these attacks, the, not just the physical impact but also the emotional impact that these attacks have. Now Mark and his friends managed to get off the bus, the guard, the ambulance was called Mark was taken to Tala Hospital where he was treated for a number of injuries but they have to wait for the swelling to go down on his nose before they can determine whether or not his nose is in fact broken. But as I was saying, it's not just the physical assault, it's the emotional uh, impact that this has. Today, Mark said he's feeling shocked. He's feeling powerless and confused. And over the last couple of days, he's been trying to make sense of what happened and why. I said online, I put it up when I put a post about this, I said, what could I have done differently? I spent all last night running through it in my head and re reanalyzing it and thinking, could I have acted differently? Should we have gotten off earlier? What should we have done? But it's as simple as I went onto a bus with my leap cart to go home and I ended up in a hospital and I provoked no one. I don't understand how you get from point A to point B in that scenario. Now, uh, Gardaí here in Tallis say they're investigating, they're appealing for witnesses, anyone who was on the number 15 bus. This incident occurred around on the Fur House Road at around 4am on Sunday morning. No arrests have been made at this stage, while Dublin Bus says it's also fully investigating the incident.